Hello, collectors, it's Steven here, and I'm bringing you a review of the Marmot Monster Heaven Godzilla 1954. The original design gets the Marmot treatment, but is it any good? Well, let's take a look to see whether or not it's worth adding into your collection. Like many Marmots, this guy has many, many different variants, with this one being a Super Festival exclusive. He looks great in the brown and silver color combo, so let's get a closer look. Take note, I did buy this used, and I want to say that it came out a long time ago, I think 2003 or so, so it's old enough that it's kind of beat up, sadly, but even then, I still think that it can be appreciated. The head sculpt looks really cool, it's obviously stylized. The eyes look neat with this design, the red is very great. The chest is done really well with a nice silver spray on the sternum, and as you can see here, there's some scraping on the claws, but eh, it's cool. The arms also have the very nice spray, and this brings out the sculpt very well. The dorsal plates look slick in the silver paint, and in an odd way, the damage and such adds a little bit of detail to the dorsal plates. It's actually pretty cool. And you know I'm one to ding a figure for QC issues and whatnot, but with this being out of my hands, I think it's okay, and it actually adds a teeny bit of character. The legs feature the silver spray too, and the feet have silver nails on it. Scratched, but still, assuming it's not, it's pretty good. And last up, the tail. Pretty neat looking. I gotta say overall, though it may not necessarily be everyone's favorite color scheme, I do like this one. The articulation is more so a result of the creation process of the figure, so it's not really intended. However, we have swivels at the shoulders and the hips. The tail can kinda wiggle, but it's not really a full joint. Now, here's your size comparison. As you can see, he's your average size, about 8-inch vinyl figure, so if you're looking to put this guy on your shelf, chances are the space you have cleared off will be just fine enough. So, buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. Sculpt is nice, but it's clear the paint won't hold up in the long run, given the amount of damage mine has. But depending on your own views, this is entirely forgivable. Surprisingly, though, the figure can be had for pretty cheap, so if you don't mind it, you can drop about, say, 55, 60 bucks on it, and you can get one in pretty good quality. Not exactly the best sculpt in the line, according to some collectors, but I feel it's pretty enjoyable. If you like what you see, go ahead and pull the trigger. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below to share your thoughts. If you're interested in picking this figure up, or others like it, check the description for some cool links to take you where you need to go. Why don't you watch some more videos? Click the annotations on the screen now for more great content. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next video.